Here's a brief list of some things that Harry Styles, 23, has done in the past year. One released his critically acclaimed, self-titled solo album, two performed on Saturday Night Live and at the Victoria's Secret Fashion Show, three sold out a headlining tour, and four invented suits. Essentially, H.E.S. the perfect specimen of a rock star. Grammy Awards Committee. I asked thee where is Hazza's nomination. A Grammy nom for Harry this morning would have made his already pret high good 24 hours even better. Had just taken home the Best International Artist at the 2017 Australian Recording Industry Association Music Awards Arias the night before, and the Victoria's Secret Show, for which he was handpicked to perform at, airs tonight. Alas, before Harry's solo debut, I admit I wasn't a huge fan. One Direction was on my radar, of course, but apart from a few singles, I had never quite hopped on the train. Yet when the unexpected and excellent classic rock ballad Sign of the Times came out, followed by his even better full-length record, a switch was flipped. I was hooked. I was now a Harry Edwards Styles worshipper, and proud of it. I was lucky enough to see Harry perform at Radio City this past fall, and that concert confirmed that helps capable of winning over not just the die-hard fans in the room, but the grandmas who drove them there. He is a high-energy individual with enough charisma and wit to power all of New York, and that night, he did. He sang, he danced, he ran up and down stairs and he wore the hell out of a red and black floral brocade suit. I was able to see Harry Styles total package them with my own eyes. Yeah, yeah, the Grammys aren't everything and the awards don't necessarily validate great work, but they do recognize it, and I admit I wanted Harry to get that recognition. As Ron Swanson says Hollywood lifers, do you think Harry was snubbed at the Grammys?